Hi everyone, Mike from the Excel Trainer here. During last week's live stream, I had a demo that didn't work. And this video shows you a workaround. If you want to follow along, you can download a copy of the demo file from the link in the description below. Last week, I delivered a live training session on YouTube covering pivot tables in Excel on the Mac. One of my demos covered how to filter a pivot table and the bit that didn't work was filter by value. Let me show you what happened. Here's some sales data for excellent ice cream. In the pivot table, I want to display just the flavours where the revenue is over 30,000. So I click into one cell in column J, click the filter button in I5, where it says by value, select greater than, and type 30,000 into the box. There's nothing wrong with that actually, it's showing me the flavours where the revenue is over 30,000. So let's clear the filter. Let me show you the bit that didn't work. Here I want to display the flavours where the number of litres sold is more than 5,000. So I click into column K, click the filter button, set by value to greater than and type 5,000. And that has not worked. It's still showing me the flavours where the number of litres sold is under 5,000. So the problem is that it only allows you to filter by value on the first column of numbers. It works fine on Windows, so I'm assuming it's a bug in the Mac version. On Windows, it's done in a slightly different way. You don't need to select a cell in the column to be filtered. So I've just selected a cell in the pivot table. I'll click the filter button in I5 select value filters greater than and here I choose which column I want to apply the filter to and I type in the number and click OK and it has this time applied the filter. Anyway back to the Mac there is a workaround. If you click into the pivot table anywhere and click on the data tab on the ribbon you'll notice that the filter button is greyed out. But if you click in a cell in the column to the right of the pivot table, the filter button is available. If I click it, I get a filter button on each heading. Then I can click the filter button in column K, click on greater than, type in 5000 and it applies the filter. Now, as an aside, Adding the filter dropdowns to each column, which works on both Windows and Mac, is useful in its own right, not just as a workaround for this issue. It's the only way to apply multiple filter by value filters. Suppose I want to filter on two criteria, over 25,000 revenue and over 5,000 litres sold. So I'll click the drop down in column J and select greater than 25,000 and then I'll click the drop down in column K and select greater than 5000. And what that has done is that has applied a filter to show me only the flavours where the revenue is greater than 25,000 and the number of litres sold is greater than 5000. So hopefully you found this video useful. If you're a Mac user, there's a little workaround in there. And if you're a Mac or Windows user, there's also a workaround in there for another issue. If you did find it useful, please give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel. If you have any suggestions for future videos, please let me know in the comments. I also have a free weekly newsletter, which is packed full of tips and tricks to help you become more productive in Excel. And you can sign up for that at theexceltrainer.co.uk. But until the next time, have an excellent day.